But we're walking all the way down front of the Okay, and she's just gonna stop right at the door. No, she's gonna come over here. And then I go and grab her. After the, the song is gonna be playing, once I say who.
giveth this lovely woman to be married to this man? We do. Amen. You may be seated. Just stand there and face each other. Would you bow your heads and pray with me? God, would you turn this space and place into the Garden of Eden? In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Well, we want to welcome you to the wedding ceremony of Craig and Marlene. Marlene, I've never seen you smile this morning. <laughs> <time. laughs> <And> I, f- <laughs> I feel like I know you forever. And forever's a long time, but... <laughs> I've never seen you smile this much. (laughs) And we welcome everyone to their union, and regardless of how stretched or how stressful you were to get to this moment, heaven or hell would not stop this. Because regardless of how much pain and difficulty you've endured in your life, this moment has been selected by God before the foundations of the world. And marriage is still God's design and desire for how he wants us to celebrate the union and the representation of God on this earth. I think it was John Fisher who said it best. He said, the success of marriage is not in finding the right person, but in the ability of both people to adjust to the person they realized they inevitably married. 
because some people thought they married angels <laughs> and were shocked when they realized they just married a human being. Mm -hmm. And if we would realize that we're just marrying a person and not perfection, mm -hmm. we have a better perspective of what God wants to do in our relationship. I've got one thing to tell you today that I believe is going to be a blessing. The Bible says that when Adam and Eve came together, the Bible says something so simple that most of us miss. It says, and he blessed them. Mm. He brought them together, and then he blessed them, which means when you say I do today, all of the resources of heaven will be poured out in both of you all's life. And I don't know how it's gonna do it. God's gonna do it. I don't know in what way he's gonna do it. But I know every time somebody gets married, heaven pours new blessings into your life. And when you both seek the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, all of God's blessings will be added unto you. Would you take each other's hands as you Greg, I'm going to start with you. Is that okay? Yes, sir. All right. I want you to repeat these words after me, okay? Okay. All right. Look at Marlene. Don't look at me, though. <laughs> All right. You ready? Yes. I, Craig Oliver Coleman, Sr. I, Craig Oliver Coleman, Sr. Take you, Marlene Michelle Roberts. Take you, Marlene Michelle Roberts. To be my lawfully wedded wife to be my lawfully wedded wife my partner in life my partner in life and my only true love and my only true love don't ask me to leave you which is never going to happen don't <laughs> ask me to leave you. or return from following you or return from following you which you know I follow you very well all right just repeat after me um, <laughs> Your people, your people will be my people. Will be my people. And your God, and your God will be my God. Will be my God. I will love you. I will love you. And cry with you. And cry with you. In good times. In good times. And in bad. And in bad times. Regardless of the obstacles we face. Regardless of the obstacles we face. I give you my hand in marriage. I give you my hand in marriage. Until I breathe my last breath. Until I breathe my last breath. She's still smiling. I, <laughs> I Marlene Michelle Roberts. I, Marlene Michelle Roberts. Take you, Craig Oliver Coleman, Sr. Take you, Craig Oliver Coleman, Sr. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. My constant friend. My constant friend. And my faithful partner. And my faithful partner. From this day forward. From this day forward. Don't ask me to leave you. Don't ask me to leave you. <laughs> <laughs> or return from following you. Or return from following you. Your people. Your people. Will be my people. Will be my people. And your God. And your God. Will be my God. Will be my God. I promise to be patient with you. I promise to be patient with you. I promise to be patient with you. I <laughs> I really do promise. <laughs> I promise to be patient with you. I promise to be patient with you. And support you. And support you. And laugh and cry with you. And laugh and cry with you. Until I breathe my last breath. Until I breathe my last breath. Would you take the rings from your attendance? Would you place Craig? The ring on Marlene's finger and repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I be wed. I be wed. 
In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. The Son. And the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost. Would you place your ring on Craig's finger? With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost. Well, Craig, I really believe you want to marry this woman. And Marlene, I really believe you want to marry this man. Mm -hmm. So for as much as you, Craig, and you, Marlene, have joined together and have agreed in holy wedlock and have said before God and in these presence of your family, friends, and witnesses, and have given your vows of fidelity to one another, I, as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ and the authority given to me, by the state of Maryland, do now at 6.36 p.m. Standard Eastern Time, mm -hmm. pronounce you to be man and wife. And what God has brought together, let no one ever separate. Amen. Would you stretch your hands toward Marlene and Craig In the name of Jesus, I ask now that what has just happened on earth and in the spirit realm would be felt, known, and experienced in their life. I pray not now more so a new connection with each other, but I first do pray for a new connection with you, God, mm -hmm. that their connection with you would be stronger so that their connection with each other would be like glue. I pray that you would bless them, God, from the bedroom to the bank account <laughs> and allow their home to be filled with such power from the Holy Ghost that people will want to know more about you as a result of their union. I consider it done. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Well, since you all are married now, you start doing married things. And so, Craig, I want to give you the honor and privilege for the first time to salute your now wife. <laughs> Time, Prince George's newest couple at six. 42 p.m. Mr. and Mrs. Craig Coleman Sr. Would you put your hands together? So you guys are walk out together uh -huh. straight out to the thing. Yeah. Come on, one more time. Mr. and Mrs. Craig Coleman.